I'm Jeremy Christopher Bruins. I'm a Sergeant Major in the United States Army. I spent years in war zones in some of the most hostile places on the planet. I've been deployed nine times, including three times to Iraq and one time to Afghanistan. They say it happens when you least expect it. I was loading my truck. I was struck by a vehicle and uh, pinned at my knees between two vehicles. It was the most excruciating pain possible. When she struck me, she didn't stop. The attack almost left my wife a widow and my son fatherless. You don't expect to be hit by a drunk driver at 9.30 in the morning. That morning, I was sleeping. The neighbor knocked on my door. She said, Jeremy, Jeremy, and I could see the scene with all the ambulances and police and people. They ran out into the middle of my lawn and they held me back and I could see Jeremy. He was pinned between the two vehicles, the hood of her car and the back of his truck. His blood was all over the road and he was in agony. He looked, he looked like he should have been dead. When I was pinned there, I could actually smell my flesh burning on her engine. I could hear my wife freaking out and not knowing whether or not I was going to survive or not. She was coming home, high and drunk, wrong lane speeding, and she plowed into my husband. The phone call I got uh, when I found out of my, about my dad's accident, uh, that marked pretty much the worst day of my life. When I got to the hospital, he was still in surgery. So it was uncertain for quite a number of hours. It wasn't until late that evening um, that he'd, he'd survived. I miss the ability to just be normal. To, to go anywhere and do anything. He was so strong. In a lot of ways, he was like Superman. You know, he could always get the job done. He never got hurt in all his deployments. He always came back without a scratch on him. So it was shocking to have this happen to him. You know, short of being a world-class athlete, I could go anywhere and do anything. To be restricted like that as far as mobility, that's, that's, a, that's a giant giant loss. To be reduced to such helplessness is humiliating. Well, I've, I've, I basically have lost the life that I thought I was going to have. Her poor decision making almost cost my family everything. You're switching your inconvenience uh, for my now lifetime of pain and suffering and loss. Probably the cruelest part of this accident is that is the fact that it could have been so easily prevented. What are you going to do? What's your choice? Poor decision making can bring even supermen to their knees.